Hey YouTube! I know it's been a minute, but I have to have some inspiration before I can do any tutorial or anything like that. And Mies, who actually keeps calling me and making it very hard to do this tutorial, but um, she keeps doing projects, but I'm never there to tape her, so I'm gonna we're gonna do better. Basically, we're gonna do better on the Mies and D YouTube, but. Thanks for everybody who's been watching. We're trying to put up more videos. Um, just make sure you like, subscribe, and comment just so that we know that you're watching. But um, today I'm going to show you how to do this look that I have right now. Um, it's a look for going out on the town. And it's supposed to be a quick and easy look, but it maybe take an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. So, you know, give yourself a little time. Not the makeup. The makeup a little bit longer. <laughs> But it's, um, it's, the tutorial is about my hair. And it's just, you know, a fun little look you can do when you, you know, you're about to go clubbing or, you know, I'm old, so maybe when you're about to go to a nice movie. <laughs> but um, I hope you like it. So Enjoy. I'm starting with the old frizzy wash and go for this hairstyle. It's a really quick and easy tutorial to do if somebody calls you right quick and say, let's get out. Well, not right quick, maybe a couple of hours. <laughs> But um, the things that we're going to use in this tutorial is you always need your water, your bows, your bill clips. I have this Shea Miracle Moisture Intense Curling Styling Custard. And I might do a um, how I like this custard in another video. But for right now, that's what we're using. Um, I have some tea tree oil. I have Motions Radiant Hair Gloss and I have a tool of ribbon. So let's get started. Okay, so start off by just sectioning off a small or medium sized portion of hair from the back of your head. You know, just enough to work with. And then just go ahead and pull the rest of your hair up into just a loose ponytail to, to get it out of your way. So what I'm doing here is just sectioning off a smaller portion so it's just easier to work with. Then I'm going to spray water on it to make the curls more manageable. Again, to make it e more easy to work with. Just pull that water on through your hair just so the curls can loosen up a little bit. Now I'm gonna use some Shea Miracle Curl Styling Custard. To be quite honest, I like the curl definition that this product gives me, but it does leave like a flaky residue in your hair, so you can't even enjoy the curl that it gives you because your hair end up, ends up being dirty. So I don't know, I'm trying different ways to maybe use it in my hair, so maybe it won't give me that same flakiness, but like I said, I, I might have to do a how I like this product in a whole nother video because that's a whole nother issue. <laughs> so I really don't have a certain amount of gel that I use. I just try to make sure that my hair is completely coated, especially the frizzy ends of my hair. And then what I do is smooth my hair through my hands. That way it just makes sure the gel gets throughout my hair. After smoothing the hair, I just like to shape the curls out a little bit just so they won't be clumped together once you're done. Then I go ahead and start with the next section, just following the same steps with water. Make sure you get a, just a good amount of water on it, not too much, you don't want to drench the hair. And go ahead and put your 
gel on there. And you can use whatever gel that you use, whatever styling, custard, or cream that you, you prefer. Some, sometimes I even try to use, well I even use Eco Styling Gel. It works just as good. And I actually should have got a brush and kind of <laughs> brushed through my hair a little bit, but hey, fingers work just as good. Once you're done with that section, just smooth it all in and shake out those curls. Like I said, so the curls won't be clumped together when you're finished. And just add a little bit of tea tree oil. Just to seal all that in. And give your hair a little bit of shine. And just complete those same steps section by section throughout your entire head. Stand up in the motor, bust the dash, bro. So once you're done adding product to the entire head, now it's time to diffuse. And I just like to cup the diffuser right underneath my hair just to make those curls that much more tighter. It gives it a little bit more definition when you do that. Make sure you get the crown of your head. And I have the diffuser on cold. And then I do a, a short blast of heat because I don't want to put too much heat on my hair. And the cold air is just as effective as the hot air. So what I'm doing here is flipping my hair over, not only to get the back of my hair dry, but also to create more volume. Now I'm going to use a toothbrush and some Eco Styler Gel to slay those edges. So I'm just going to use my scarf just to tie my edges down just for a more sleeker look. Yeah. 
So once my edges are dry, I just want to take my pick and pick out my roots. I don't want to pull the pick all the way through my hair like I'm combing it out. Just want to create volume at the root. Once you get the hair all picked out, then it's time to pick up your scissors, ribbon, and bobby pins. Make sure you cut off a good amount of ribbon because you're going to curl it and it's going to get shorter. Now take the scissors and run it across the ribbon so that you can get a nice tight curl. Once you've curled that ribbon, take the bobby pins and twirl that ribbon around the bobby pin just so it'll get tight enough so it won't fall off. Now you can go ahead and just randomly stick that bobby pin anywhere throughout your hair. I actually have sparkly bobby pins just in case they do end up showing. I went ahead and placed just a couple of more pieces of ribbon throughout my hair. I did at least one or two in the back as well. And just try to position it so it curls along with your hair. I hope you like the look. Thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. And like I said, we're going to try and do better, put up more videos. But um, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you guys for watching.